Hey y'all, we're back. Welcome back to another video, guys. It's Checkers Live with the Bonics. Let's get it. Boom. Already trying to book another load. Uh, okay. 
Okay, no problem. Um, that will pick up in the same location where we're headed. So. Okay, no problem. Just go ahead and send it. Right. That's how we do. You got to keep it going and, you know, stay booked. Booked and busy. You guys know I love the water. I normally go to Lake Wiley on my side of town. This is Lake Norman on the north side of the city. And here's an interesting fact. Both lakes are man-made. Can you believe they actually dug this out and created this huge lake? And rumor has it that Lake Norman sits on top of a city. So if you dive deep enough, you will still find the ruins of churches and buildings and homes and cemeteries of a black town that used to be there. making a quick stop to get some food take up to Mooresville because sometimes they are slow and it can take them a while to even like load you so what are you gonna get babe cuz I know you don't like subway you want some Chinese yeah. No, <laughs> my God, you so extra. Look at the menu. Yes, I will look at it, man. Mm -hmm. What you say? Yeah, that's that's good. You have the kung pao chicken. Um, what type of shrimp you have? What kind of shrimp? Yeah. Shrimp. <laughs> my God. Sure, only one kind of shrimp. You want some shrimp in the what you say, Kong Pao? I will take the shrimp fried rice. Small one, big one? Mm, small one. Okay. Yeah. What do you it, it, it's a it's a it's a combo, it's a meal. No, not the rice. Together? Yeah, I can do that. Uh -huh. Yeah, together, man. The shrimp fried rice and the and the Kong Pao chick together. Yes. Alright, probably 10 minutes should be ready, okay? Yeah, right. can I get a cup with some ice, please? Oh, we don't do ice. No ice? No ice. Uh, no, no ice machine. No ice. So, I leave my wife over at the um the Chinese restaurant. I'm, in, I'm, 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 I'm at the subway trying to get a cup to get some ice to go to Morseville. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Can I do the, uh, that small so this is the subway. That's how I say it. Make sure they give some silverware, babe. Kimara hating because the little Hispanic dude was trying to take his woman. <laughs> he was trying to take your woman, babe. He was like, you from here? You're beautiful. Hey, you say he can have me? <laughs> what you say? Why am I playing? I drive it for my money when I'm driving. 
just traveling along. You yell out the window and say, "Rump them thing." <laughs> and I see you. How many truckers do we have out there in the Bonnet family? You guys roll together. Oh my God! Every time we turn a corner, I'm like, we're gonna turn over. We got water on the truck, and this water is heavy as hell. It's like 40,000 pounds. But Kim Hart just be rolling. I guess he ain't have no fear. Me, I'm a scaredy cat. I be like, slow down, babe. We're going to turn over. But then if you die, you just go to one place underneath the ground. <laughs> oh, my God. But I ain't ready to die yet. gonna back into door five right there. Somebody say he's gonna slide the tandem. slide the tandem. how small it got? No, I told them I need a small food. Oh, that is a small. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. That's how the Chinese do, just like Jamaicans. They give you a whole bunch of rice. Mm -hmm. But the Americans, they don't give you a whole bunch of rice, though. No, Americans are going to give you just a little bit of everything. That is it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But why do they do that though? You see Americans are stingy mm. and greedy. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. So you American or Jamaican? I'm both. Um, <laughs> so you have both ways then? Really? <laughs> Maybe, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> mm. uh -uh. So you Jamaican or American? I'm Jamaican. <laughs> but you act American sometimes because your ass mm -hmm. stingy. Not really. Mm -hmm. You're going to say the number time Mm-hmm. I'm going to let the peoples know. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
You're not really stingy though. You always like share. You got to make up your mind, yo. <laughs> you back and forth. Look at Biggs and them friends rolling together. <laughs> you crazy, Biggs and them friends rolling together. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you have a name for everybody. Well, he big, so you call him big. <laughs> That's how Jamaican do. So if you black, they call you black. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you big, they call you big. If you black, they call you black. Mm -hmm. You guys crazy. <laughs> name for everybody. <laughs> And so the wait begins. But there ain't really nobody here. I mean, they didn't have a line like in the last video you guys saw. Like we pulled right up to um, the check-in gate. And there ain't really no trucks um, like parked out here waiting to be loaded. They all like kind of sitting on the yard. Mm -hmm. They telling everybody go park on the yard and then we'll tell you what door to pull in. Mm -hmm. But we got a door immediately because. But not just before you got a door immediately. They that they're gonna right. But I'm just saying they told you to go into a door. Sometimes it's the worst thing you you got you got a door immediately thinking that you know you got to get out immediately. Mm -hmm. And it don't happen like that. Mm -hmm. But move I was saying tell them why you got a door because we really are bringing the road back. So. Mm -hmm. I was just saying, like, kind of explain what happened with the load. So we're back in Morrisville because and this is kind of like one of the, I guess it's a pro and a con of trucking. Because MR picked up a load on Friday. The delivery place closed at, um, what, at 12 mm -hmm. midnight. And they didn't load this truck till 2 a.m. So, um. Yeah, so you, um. So when I get to the place, mm -hmm. when I get to the place, um. They said it was a conflict when I get to the place. I picked up the load on Saturday and get there, no, Friday and get there Saturday. Then they said it's a conflict. This load was scheduled to deliver Wednesday, July the 6th. Mm-mm. Like, you picked up the load on Friday. Yes. It was supposed to deliver at 12. Midnight. But, right. Mm hmm But the receiver closes at 12. But so, they wouldn't reschedule it. Right, but Kemar got the load. Right, so because then... Because they, 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 when I tell them to what if you deliver from this, so they must say, all right, then in, the only man I got shot saying that, um... He see people late like two, three days and they still take them. Oh. They never reschedule it, they just late mm -hmm. two, three days mm -hmm. and they still take them. You see, because sometimes I broke them reschedule the load, you know, and I peep right. them. Yeah, so he he missed his um, delivery time because Niagara didn't load him <clears throat> until 2 a.m. and the receiver closed at 12 a.m. So, so he missed the um, delivery time. And when he got there the next day, they told him to come at four in the afternoon. And so when he got there at four in the afternoon, which is already cutting into your weekend time, because that was four o'clock on Saturday. Yeah, when he got there at four, they said the load was supposed to deliver on July 6th. Yeah, so it was and, a conflict. Yeah, it was a conflict. And we were like, no, we can't keep this load on our truck until Wednesday. This load gonna have to go back to the shipper and come off of the truck because we have other loads booked that, you know, we're ready to run and we can't keep the load on the truck, you know, for, even though they will pay you like layover pay, but it's not the same as you running loads, you know? So, but on the flip side of that, it worked out because- Yeah, it worked out because they pay us to take it back, baby. <laughs> yeah, but they paid you to take it back. They still pay layover. And they still paid detention. Still paid detention from, it took five hours to even load. So, mm -hmm. so in that case, you get paid to pick it up and take it to the receiver. You got detention. You got layover. Mm -hmm. And then you still got paid to bring it back. 
So it worked out better for us anyway. Mm -hmm. So yeah. But you know, those are the pros and cons of trucking. You know, if you have like your own, um, you know, truck, if you're an owner operator, those are the kinds of things you have to deal with as well. You know, it's kind of like, you know, I don't know how big companies do, you know, if they would have said bring it back or if they would have had time to wait or, mm -hmm. you no, know. No, they're not time to wait. They still got to pay them. It's the same thing. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was crazy. They got but... because big companies stay booked. Yeah. So they want that thing off right, their truck. Right, yeah, 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 you're right. They want it off of the truck so they can keep going. Who wants something on their truck, whether big or small company? Right. We got to make money. <laughs> yeah, we do. We ain't coming out here to keep your load on our well, truck. Well, you made it, babe, with this one load. Mm hmm? Because <laughs> now they're getting it back. The Lord just did them and we rich. <laughs> rich. Okay. <laughs> that must have been your other wife you was rich with. <laughs> I'm just playing, guys. <laughs> they know you playing. <laughs> yep. I'll bash him in the head. <laughs> Remember I said he would walk away with two broke legs? <laughs> <laughs> Let me eat my food. You want to do me like Queenie and Dewey? Where well, they will bash me in the head. <laughs> Who? Man, Queenie man. and Dewey? Mm -hmm. Who the hell is that? You don't know Queenie and Dewey? Uh-uh. My God. <laughs> Some Jamaicans? That live in England. Oh. And he bashed her in the head. Or she, she bashed, bashed him in the head. <laughs> Why? I'm going to make you see video. Yeah, I'm going to have to see. <laughs> you yep. see he's sliding his candles. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Yep. That's so crazy. I don't think I ever seen you do that. Or maybe I just never even paid attention. So why do you have to do that? Because the load is on the back of... Even when you have a steel load, the load on the truck. Mm -hmm. When you go up on the steel, so you have to slide the time to even out the load. Uh -huh. But I'm saying, like, once the load is even, why do you have to? You have yeah, to do I'm that. Yeah, I have to drive tandem if it's load even. But sometimes when you come right or so, mm -hmm. then tell us if you slide the tandems are back. Oh, okay. Okay. So the tandems all the way oh, in okay, like that, and you. the path go down on it. It's like so it, the wheels are at the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means they're more firm. Mm -hmm. So when the path lift go up on the wheel, the right there, so they embrace the mm -hmm. path lift. But when the tandems are all the way in, and the, the path lift go up on the truck, as you can see, the wheel on the all the way yeah, in the back. Yeah, so back I understand. It's like I get one, one, one sink. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. So then, why when the forklift go up and it's just firm? That's what happened in Hickory when they tore up our trailer. So thank you guys for all the love and support in the last video. I really appreciate it. But we back. <laughs> Can't say it enough. We back. What's wrong with your belt? Oh my God. You gonna stretch out like that? Mm -hmm. My belly is full. Your, be <laughs> your belly is full. Mm -hmm. So you gotta hold it. Ooh. You ate too fast, babe. You gotta chew your food and digest it. Maybe. I don't know. It's just full. You ate a lot of food. That was a lot. So you said me to do like so like alligator. Mm-hmm. Me to chew my food and digest it. Me to like the crocodile. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You just like swallow it whole. Damn. Mm-hmm. Good thing about it then. Mm-hmm. 
I'm just saying. I'm lazy, but when you see that paycheck you was at, I know it, Kadani. <laughs> What? You think I didn't know it when you see that paycheck you was that woo <laughs> Well you was acting as if you was mad then. I know you smile when you see that paycheck then. I was mad because I had the load on the truck. Shit. Like, they better get that load off of the truck. Shit. When I see that right now and I do what? Cha ching. <laughs> How you do it? Look. Cha ching. <laughs> <laughs> I know you was happy. <laughs> you know. So what you guys been up to since lately? Since you haven't seen us, what you guys been up to? We've been so busy. We've been working, just trying to get stuff together, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Book them busy. Ain't that what they yep. say on IG? You book them busy? Yep. <laughs> this broccoli is so big, baby. I can't even eat it. So what do you guys have planned for the last six months of the year? We got six months left in this year. I got some goals. You got some goals, babe? Would I go play soccer? <laughs> no. Okay. Goals for the last six months, things you want to work on. Uh-huh. You do? Yeah. You want to share? I want to share one of them. I want to become a truck instructor. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Kemar wants to be a truck driver instructor, like a certified instructor, where he will teach you to get your CDL license. Yeah. That's good. We want to kind of like grow the business and expand and do some other things, um, you know, where we can kind of like still make money, you know? Still make money under the umbrella of the trucking business, you know. Oh my God! Belly full, babe. I, I, I so she making her mom think she put lighter fluid in the engine. Her mom name is Strawberry Slim. <laughs> You lying. Is that our name for real? Well, what would she go by? What is that? Strawberry Slim. Jessica, get over here. Could what you is that? YouTube? That's or? Jessica. That's Strawberry Slim. That's YouTube. Brand new and your little, little strawberry Slim, I see you, girl. Well, undoubtedly, you don't. You put lighter fluid in something. Stop messing with your What is that right on? YouTube? You don't put nothing in. Oh my God! It's country Wayne. You do too. This, this is huh? I heard a country Wayne. Are you on the free? You good? Sure? You know what's country Wayne? Mm -hmm. It's a queenie and do it, you know. That's a pretend to act comfortable. Yeah. 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 Make him carry a suitcase, my before suitcase, in my man. Oh no, no, burn the blood clot. Me with no blood clot suitcase. Cause my husband go for holiday. Me I defend my blood clot husband regardless no. of this agreement. So them send them female. Can't make the police station. So why she bash him in the head though, babe? They gonna de arrest me. They gonna you de arrest her. So why did she bash him in the head? Let me look it up, Queen. Yeah, because yeah, that's what I don't understand. Like, so did she kill him? Well, she could also be killed the man. Well, if I bash you in the head, you definitely gonna do it. Queen, you do we at the airport? 
seeing most of them. Oh my god, she's a musician? Oh. She's here most of them. Oh my god, she's screaming and all that. She loved the RSI at the airport. You know, I guess you have fun. Oh my God, like that could never be me out there in public like that. Yeah. I'm gonna wait till we get back to the room. <laughs> and then I'm gonna let you have it. You finished with that? Yes, babe. Thank you. You finished eat? My belly's full too. She ready for talking, she ready for fighting. And then he was a punk, he didn't fight her back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he don't want to go to prison. She do it again. She beat him. Oh, so they already unloading the truck. I think I'm Kimara's good luck charm when he comes to Niagara. So let's see if they gonna load that next load just as quick. Them not really must pick up at two, two, you know. Two a.m. You don't think they ain't got nothing else to do here? Ain't nobody here. I need to take an allergy pill. I you always wait till the last minute. Your, your, your lucky charm. Yes. Let me see what it says. You know, you want mine to say? So they already um unloading the trailer. You want to see what trailer. mine say? Yeah. They already unloading the trailer. I think I'm Kimar's good luck charm whenever he comes to Niagara. Read it for me, Katana, because when it comes to me, I'm done slide back. <laughs> so my gun sound when they clap. It says. Wap, 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 wap. <laughs> What, 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 what? Okay. A chance meeting with someone from the past is in store. Mm-hmm. Hope you don't bet when me meet that person, God on you. Oh, I'm going to bet I'm going to beat both of y'all down. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Let me see what mine say. Mine say the same thing. I hope you don't bet when me meet that person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Can get it open, babe. Open that phone. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. He's so extra. That's what I'm saying. You, you want me to eat it for you, you too? You can eat it. I'm not going to eat it. But I want to see my fortune. What does it say? It's not really a lie. Well, I don't care who tell it. What is that? It say, be magnanimous, be trustful, be hopeful, and be patient. Oh, that's a word for me. Mm -hmm. I receive it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. You all the best, baby. You see how yours gave you some old fuckery? And mine give me something positive. Oh, mine give me bullshit. When that Somebody you gonna meet from your past. Well, if it be somebody that's rich or somebody that's gonna let now me be. gonna help you. You marry. I don't think it ain't gonna be somebody that I'm gonna go with. It could be a guy. I hope the hell not. That you're gonna meet from the past. <laughs> I'm just playing. Hell, if they gonna bring some money, then bring the fortune for both of us. I'm gonna have to keep this, babe. This is my little lucky charm here. Cause I even saw something the other day that gave me a little hope. I was like, wow. Yes. Why they gotta bring the money for both of us though? Cause we won. Okay. We ain't won. When it comes on the money. You see how Kimar do y'all? If it's something that benefits him, he will say, we ain't won. But if it's something that's gonna benefit me, it's like, why they have to be rich for the both of us? I'm the same. What you saying, really? We ain't one. So if you rich, I'm rich, right? That ain't how it goes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, dear.
Put your top hat for your water, babe. Put the top hat for you. So that's why I won't sit on top of it. No. No. That was the one you rinsed it out with. We are just chilling, guys. It's all red. My red comforter. My red thingy. My red backsplash. Am I giving you guys a tour ceiling, of the back? My red right here. You know what I mean? Your red, it's all red, good. red. My red curtain. <laughs> it's bedtime. How long we been waiting now? About an hour, maybe. What time is it? Go call the divas, my yes. Sisters. Are we still just here chilling? Chilling, 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 chilling. Ooh. Just relaxing. You going live on YouTube? <laughs> yeah. We should go live one day. And have like real life conversation, like real time. You know what I mean? Yeah, we should do that. Mm-hmm. So we just here just chilling, just relaxing in my classy ride <laughs> your classy ride yeah it's all red and red my sheet is red, red is for love yeah <laughs> my overhead is red my back my, oh my back God. splash is red so it's all red you know somebody really loved red mm -hmm. they thought they was decking this baby out it's uh -huh. nice though i mean it's it's in good shape Yep, yep. And everything yep. still looks good up there. Like, let me show them. You see, the top is red. The curtains are red. Yeah. Everything is red. Even the driver is red. Red hot, baby. That is it, yo. <laughs> yes. But everything is in good condition. Like it looks good. You it seems know? as if they finish off load this truck. My it seems so bad. Let me go <laughs> check. Nigga. Yeah, go check, babe. Let me go check. Yeah, go check them. Girl, you finished, no, you they ain't finished yet. <laughs> you thought they were finished. But maybe almost. They finished. Okay. So yeah. you gonna go check? That was just lifting back that tailgate. So guys, I just now got loaded. And um, normally um, I get the paperwork from the kiosk, but um, this load was a bit kind of different. So the paperwork is in the trailer, back of the trailer right here, guys. So, yep, this is my paperwork, guys. That is it. I went to go see if they are finished unloading the truck and um, I have my fingers crossed because um, on the way up here <laughs> Kim I saw another load leaving out of this facility so he called and placed a bid on it and they called him back and told him that they took the bid so um, <laughs> but that load picks up at 2 a.m. so I want to go home and get in my bed and get a good night's rest how are we looking babe huh? Give me some good news, baby. I'm okay at door five. They're going to load me at door yes. five. Yes. I'm Kimara's good luck charm. I promise you guys I am. Jeez. I ain't your good luck charm. For today. <laughs> For today. Whenever I come up here with you, it's never a long way. That's a lie, yo. Okay, well, you calling me a liar. I'm just saying. You calling a me a liar. liar. I had my fingers crossed. Because ain't nothing going on too. You gotta look. I don't that. have to have my fingers crossed. I'm blessed and highly favored. <laughs> yes. I feel like I could go for two more water. Yes, baby, go get some cold water. Okay. Yeah, because the water in the truck has been sitting, so it's kind of it's not you know cold. <laughs> yes, we gonna get loaded. Gonna get loaded. You know what I should do? Y'all, I'm still dealing with this hair. <laughs> Whew. 
a shortcut is calling my name. OMG. I'm still hanging on in there though, but um, I'm about ready to cut it, but <sighs> this is the longest that it's ever been. And um, some days I like it, today not so much, but I'm a stick beside her. <laughs> but you know, as I said, um, I just wanted to thank you guys for all the love and the support that you gave in the last video. Um, I was kind of hesitant to share it. Um, but you know, not only that I want to be transparent, but I also want to uplift those, you know, who are out there and going through, you know, something similar. Um, or even if you're just going through something at all, you know, I just want you to know that God hears your cries as well. And I pray and I lift you up and I fully support you. The one thing that I can say that I do have is love. And I think that when you have love, you have joy. And when you have joy, you have happiness. So even though there's like, you know, a sadness in my heart sometimes, overall, my life is happy. I'm a happy person. I'm a joyful person. And that's what I want to continue to spread out to the world because I think the world needs more love. Um, you know, because there was a time when I wasn't like this, you know. <laughs> People used to say I was mean. Yeah, little old me. People used to say I was mean. And so I just feel like, you know, we need more love. Um, with all the things that's going on in the world, and there's a lot, a lot, lot happening in the world that I even hate to turn on the news sometimes, you know. But I watch the news because I want to know what's going on in the world. But um, I just think that we need more love. And so I thank you for all the love that you guys showed me. Even though Kimar doesn't have any children, I still honored him for Father's Day um, because I have a daughter. And even though she's in her mid-20s, um, she still looks to Kimar as a stepfather. She will say he's my stepfather, you know, and technically he is. <laughs> so, um, but he's always there for, you know, my daughter um, or my mom. So he's always there for my family and I still wanted to honor him. And he even woke up that morning and was like, you know, today's Father's Day. And I was like, of course. So I got him some balloons and I made him a nice dinner and I made him a little video. So, you know, I always try to honor Kimar on Father's Day and just show him how much we love and appreciate him and that we're grateful for everything that he does for us. Um, and I'm also believing that he will be a father one day um, to his own bloodline and we'll have a child that will carry on his legacy, the Bonnick legacy, well after he's gone. So I know some people are like, he doesn't have his own kids. But hey, that's not what makes a father. You got plenty of men out here that don't do jack for their kids and people still wish them Happy Father's Day. So that's my husband. That's my man. <laughs> and I always honor him in that space on Father's Day. So we are finally loaded and about to head out and head home. Um, not a bad day. We got here about 4 and it's a little bit after 8. And so we got 
unloaded and we got loaded <laughs> in four hours so not a bad day make that money baby don't let that money make you <laughs> you know where we go yeah so don't forget to like the video share the video comment and subscribe peace out guys peace out bless up we'll see you next time